All right, I'm going to work on the back of the shirt. Oh, man. Let's see how far it gets today. Now, I know you can't see it, but this clay is so far away from me, I have to really reach. And uh, if you hear me hard breathing, <laughs> it's, well, it's an old man sound. You know, they sit in a chair and they go, uh. They get out of the chair, they go, uh. They walk down the street, uh. That's what we do. I mean, we grunt or gasp or whatever you want to call it. It's an old man sound. I try to watch it, but sometimes it just happens. But after a while, my shoulders get tired, and the grunting is from the pain in my shoulders. <laughs> uh, growing old is so much fun, everybody. Just so much fun. Time to play with some clay. I gotta make wrinkles that uh, work on both sides of the strap. I'm using a uh, rounded tipped tool. You can get these at uh, sculpturedepot.net. Um, they're located in Loveland, Colorado, and they have everything you could ever want if, as a sculptor. Mold, uh, they have mold material, they have uh, resin material, they have uh, ceramic, they have, well, everything. Tools, armatures. And when I say everything, I mean everything that you would ever want <clears throat> as a sculptor. I'm just putting wrinkles where he bends his leg.
I'm going to start putting the fringe on the uh, leggings. I'm trying to make the fringe cast the mold friendly and casting friendly and uh, I am bunching them up together a little bit more than I normally would only because I want them to uh, be able to make a mold of it without any problems. Okay, the uh, backpack or the uh, saddlebag and the uh, blanket might block a little bit of that wind, so I'm going to have this fringe not blowing as much as the uh, fringe above it or below it, I mean. Okay, I'm starting the fringe on this side. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is paint the fringe to match the clay. Again, the reason I do it in monster clay is because monster clay will hold its shape so much better than the plastiline will. almost on the borderline if not crossing it a little the borderline of making too much stuff going on but I'll stick with it for now tomorrow I will not be here and I won't be here until Monday I've got some stuff I've got to do tomorrow, and, uh, and I'll be gone during the weekend, of course. Yeah, that's going to be it for now. I'm not unhappy with it. It, it. It's all shiny right now because it's fresh paint. And when it dries, it'll look a lot, a lot more like the clay. And I don't think it looks too bad. Boy, the client, the uh, foundry is not going to like me at all. They are going to be really upset with me. 
because of all the detailing. But I sculpt this for people who buy my work and not necessarily for the foundry. If people are willing to spend the money for it, I got to make it worthwhile and something that they would find worthwhile buying. And uh, sometimes detail is what makes a piece more appealing. Mm. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, this just dried out nicely. All right, good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.